So without further ado, I'll turn it over to uh, the Oracle team, to, to Rick Turco from Oracle. Great. Thanks for the introduction, Sid. Well, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Rick Turco, and I lead the Oracle and DECA information discovery teams across North America. Joining me on today's call will be Richard Tomlinson and Rob Dennis. Richard is actually one of our principal members on the product development team, and Rob actually runs our solution consulting group across North America. We're, we're excited you guys have elected to join us here today to learn more about how we can help you discover new opportunities by leveraging a lot of the untapped dialogues that actually exist within and around your organization in the form of unstructured data. Our goal today is to provide you with a brief introduction of Indeca information discovery. I'm going to start today's session by walking us through a, a few slides, and I'm going to provide an actual use case that will help frame up our discussion. I'm then going to turn it over to my colleagues, Richard and Rob, to kind of walk us through a powerful use case demonstration. We'll, we'll then open the floor to question and answers for a few minutes. So I think that's the agenda for this morning. So with that, let's get started. One of the fastest growing new opportunities organizations are faced with today is to better harness and understand the dialogues that are happening all around their businesses. Let's take your customers as an example. Your customers have different perceptions of your products, your services, your brands, which they're out there expressing every day, for better or worse, right? On social media sites, the internet, or directly to your customer service or field-facing reps on a daily basis. There's also a wealth of untapped information inside your organizations. You know, if we look at what employees are saying in the notes that your sales and services teams record as they interact with their customers, in documents and emails, performance reviews, job satisfaction surveys, and the like. There's also tremendous insights to be gained across your supplier networks and partner networks within your competition, with the government, the general public in, in, in general. Everyone is out there thinking and saying things that can lead to transformative new insights to your business. The information is really telling us how we can improve business outcomes. Imagine for a second if you can actually listen to your customers' opinions and feedback and, and assess its impact. Organizations could then better target their products and services to the market. They could address customer sad issues proactively, improve overall brand performance. You know, if you could understand workforce performance and sentiment analysis to help drive the next level of improvements around operational efficiency, talent management, employee satisfaction. I'm sure there's countless examples that we can all think of in our businesses to make significant improvements. So if the opportunity here is to really understand and analyze all of these dialogues and a lot of the unstructured dialogues to improve the quality of the relationships you have with all of these different factions in the organization. Why isn't everybody already doing this? Well, I think for, for starters, it's hard, right? All of the data is not captured in a single place. I think it's common knowledge that only about 10 to 20 percent of enterprise data is actually maintained in traditional data management systems, which means 80 to 90 percent of your, of your data is, is outside of that domain. It's spread out everywhere across the enterprise, on social media sites, the internet, file share systems, email systems, or likely embedded in some of the text fields of your enterprise applications. And most of that information is unstructured. And I think if you look at it, unstructured data is really quite different from traditional structured data. Unstructured content has no predefined data model. It doesn't fit well within relational tables. There's typically no identifiable structure to it, and it can have very complex hierarchical structures. It's typically very text heavy. So, I mean, there's a, a tremendous amount of challenges in dealing with unstructured data, and it's not going away. With the explosion of social media, machine data, sensor data, and the like, unstructured data is growing exponentially in both you know, volume and variety. And, you know, the organizations that we're talking to are always searching for better ways to manage and analyze this data. The other challenge that we're finding is typically the quality of this data. And I think there's some golden nuggets of insight buried inside these mountains of data that exist, but a lot of it's going to be messy. It, perhaps maybe some of it's valuable, some of it might not be valuable, 
But how do you really decide what matters to your business? There's, I don't think there's any one right answer to that question, but I think different user groups are going to find different value in the different data sets. And the key is really to provide business users with access to all of this information so they can determine what's relevant and not relevant. I think the other thing that we've been finding is that most organizations believe that they, they either lack the time or the skills to try and make sense of it all, so they struggle to get started, and they never really, you know, they never fully realize the benefits of all this unstructured analysis can bring to the table. So this is really where Indeca information discovery comes in. I mean, this is key. In order to make a lot of this unstructured content and information actionable, you really need to look across all of the diverse data sets that exist within the enterprise, and then correlate them back with the with the structured data that you're already using to measure and drive the business within the organization. You know, the, the goal here is to enable decision makers to interactively, you know, interact with the data and generate valuable insights and improve business outcomes. So what we're going to talk about next here is Oracle's unique offering in this space. I think most of you understand already that Oracle is, is probably one of the best platforms on the market for analyzing structured data and for managing the whole common information model and business analytic definitions across the enterprise. But you may have other traditional BI solutions in place, whether it be business objects or, or Cognos or MicroStrategy. You have some standards already in place within the enterprise. The goal here, though, is in order to make better decisions, we need to really analyze all of the relevant, all of the relevant information that exists within the organization. And a lot of that is outside your traditional EDWs and, and, and data management systems. You know, whether it's third-party data from suppliers or, or data aggregators. We're talking about information on websites, content management systems, and the like. If we could bring all of that information to make better decisions, I think organizations would be much more you know, efficient and effective in their decision-making process. This is where Indeca information discovery comes into the mix. We extend the valuable analytic capabilities that you already have inside your organization and extend that across all the unstructured sources. So really, the only vendor to provide a, a united world between structured and unstructured data that provides business users complete visibility into their business processes, and we try to create new insights and enable much better business outcomes across the enterprise. And right now, we're the only vendor that's providing an end-to-end -end integrated platform for true enterprise data discovery. I think it looks nice in the chart here, but let me give you a real-world example of, of how we actually deployed this technology in a, real, in a real scenario. I think we all understand Toyota as a brand built on quality, right? And we're all aware of the problems that they experienced back in 2010. I don't think there's been a more publicized recall in recent times. Toyota was crucified in the media every day for unintended acceleration problems with the Camry. This issue not only affected their reputation, but it affected the top-selling car in North America. But the big challenge for Toyota was they didn't know if they really had a problem or if they were simply being accused. There was no data, no report in the data warehouse, you know, that could answer that question. Even the most skilled data architect can't write a query to answer, why are my vehicles suddenly accelerating? They needed a fundamentally new approach. They needed an approach that allowed, you know, disparate structured and unstructured data sources to be quickly brought together to allow business users to get what we like to say fast answers to new questions. We really want to help the, the business users answer the questions of what and why, right? In the, in, the, in the scenario here with Toyota, we want to help a quality engineer understand why warranty claims significantly increased during the quarter. You know, what are our Camry owners actually saying? What are the industry experts saying about our cars, right? Most of that information does not reside in an enterprise data warehouse or traditional data management systems. So this is really where we come in. We, help, we actually help Toyota combine data from a multitude of disparate data sources. We started with a lot of the information that was in their vehicle data warehouse and, and production quality applications. I mean, this is, these are information and systems that capture data across the manufacturing floor, across their in-house warranty claim systems, and more. But they also realized that to do an effective analysis, they also needed to bring in supplier data. 
and a lot of these you know supplier informations were were basically configured uh, in systems outside of PQS and their, their vehicle data warehouse information like uh, part attribute data sourcing information and such was kept in a completely separate environment and Toyota also needed to understand what their customers were saying about their experience so we helped them collect and analyze a lot of these consumer comments and sentiment from across the web they also had access to a tremendous amount of machine data right they collected from their vehicle service centers every time you brought your car in for service they collected the, the information of the onboard sensors uh, to help them do a thorough analysis and, and basically when you combine that with a lot of the other data out there you're really providing quality and warranty engineers with speed of thought analytic environments and then lastly they realized that to do a complete and thorough evaluation they really needed to bring in information from NHTSA Right? They needed to analyze all the claims that were filed with the National Highway Transportation Safety Authority. So in all, INDECA Information Discovery helped them bring about 20 different sources together, all with their own structures, you know, some, some unstructured text, you know, full of misspellings, bad grammar, I mean, basically what we consider to be the language of the world. Right? And the real payoff for Toyota was we were able to bring all of this data together quickly so that quality and warranty engineers could easily search, browse, navigate, you know, this information without having to have specific in-depth IT skills. So we provided these folks fast answers to their new questions that they could never have anticipated when these in information systems were actually built. Ultimately, I'm, I'm proud to say that we have play a pivotal role in helping Toyota prove that there were actually no problems with their electrical systems or pedal assemblies. And you know we did this in a very timely fashion. Toyota's own estimates that they've publicly talked about is the fact that if they had to solve this with traditional business intelligence tools, you know, creating a new warehouse with new reports, new dashboards, new ETL routines, it would have taken them well over a year, probably closer to 18 months. And their own admission, they would likely have given up at that point in time because they just weren't making the progress that they needed to make. With Indeca information discovery we got this system up and running in about 12 weeks. So that's really the, one of the key components that I just lastly want to hit on before we turn it over to the demo. It's how are we able to get these solutions up and running so quickly for Toyota? Because I think clearly that's one of the most exciting parts of what we bring to the table. It's really the quick time to value that these discovery applications bring to our customers. Unlike many you know, traditional BI deployments, these projects are truly collaborative and iterative in nature. And we bring together all this disparate content into the Indeca server without having to work through all the labor intensive, time consuming processes of predefining a data model. Our engine simply ingests all of these relevant data sources and then allows the IT folks to quickly build and model very interactive intuitive front-end user experiences that you're going to see here shortly. So the bottom line here is these applications are up and running in a matter of weeks and days versus months and years with traditional BI sources, bringing tremendous value and quick time to results for our organizations. With that, I'm now going to turn it over to Rob Dennis to walk us through our first demo of the morning. Rob? <laughs> 